Struggling to find a solution to the unrest in Basra, Iraq's parliament descends into fury as accusations and blame fly back and forth. Leading Shia cleric Muqtada al-Sadr says the government should fix Basra's problems within 45 days. He also says protests should be halted at the same time to see if the government delivers. Members of Sadr's parliamentary alliance are now demanding that the government should step down. We should draw a distinction between the political factors and the other issues, namely security and services. Unfortunately, events have developed rapidly since the Parliament's first session of Monday last as a result of the escalating political wrangling, which, if turned into armed confrontations, will be gravely dangerous. We are keen on steering away from plunging into such danger. Now the situation in Basra is under control. Hours before the politicians began arguing, Basra woke on Saturday to destruction. The charred remains of a night's frustration. The people of Basra struggle with constant power shortages. Their water supply has been saturated with salt, which poisoned thousands last year. And many more have been out of work for a long time. They say corruption and government neglect is to blame. They should have made an effort to provide good job opportunities from the beginning, and they should give water to people. What do people want? What do these protesters want? They just want to live well and in peace. Both sides of the political divide in Iraq's parliament say they're forming coalitions after the recent disputed election, each saying they will create the political stability Iraq needs. But Basra's battles are unlikely to end soon if the politicians are also fighting. Rob Matheson, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.